Hello everyone, this is Joni from Designs by Joni. I'm back again today and uh, I'm going to show you a different version of Easter baskets that I have made before. This little chair is one that I did before for my granddaughter Sophie. Uh, my husband and I were in uh, Hobby Lobby one day looking around at something we wanted to get her for, Chris for um, Easter. So I saw this chair sitting up on uh, the uh, shelf, and I looked at that, and the minute I saw it, I thought, oh my gracious, that would make a gorgeous Easter basket. So that's what I did. I bought it and brought it home, and I started, um, I knew that she would love all of these uh, animals because they're engraved, and I had never seen a chair like this before uh, at any of our stores here. And... Um, so I just brought it home and I got a bunch of paper because I knew it would take quite a bit to go around it. And I uh, bought her some uh, um, chocolate eggs and I didn't want her to have much candy though because um, I don't like for her to eat too much candy. And so I just brought her the uh, Easter uh, chocolate bunnies and uh, a few of the jelly beans and things like that. But I mostly concentrated on animals and things that I thought she would love like that. So I'll show you what I did basically to it. First of all, I took the grass because an Easter basket would not be an Easter basket without grass in it. Now this grass is from Party City and um, like I said in my other video, if you watched it or if you haven't, you might want to watch it. Um, it is Easter basket one. And uh, uh, I got this at uh, Party City, and it's jelly beans in it, and um, it really does smell like jelly beans. It's, it's really good. It smells so good, and um, that just sort of enhances the uh, ambiance for a child. And um, let me get rid of all this junk and put it in the trash down here. Uh, so I got the grass, and I spread it out, and... Um, put it like this around through here and I used uh, two uh, bunches of it and as I don't like I said if you didn't watch the um, video that I fixed yesterday um, you'll uh, not know that we looked all over trying to find grass because that was just a standard thing for us before at Easter but we couldn't find any at all this time until we went to Party City. And they had just boogles of it. So um, I bought, I think it was four bunches and um, brought it home and I was so happy. So that is the grass that I put in there. And that makes for a lovely little place for your animals. Now I'm gonna show you some of her animals that um, uh, I doubt that this was the actual animals that I had because um, uh, it's been a good while, but um, it would have been along the lines because I always bought her animals that she really loved. And um, this little, both of these she's had for a long, long time. Cause it, so it is possible that maybe one of these was one of the animals that she got. I know there would have been a bunny in it. And... Um, so I set them up sort of a wreck like that. And I put to her other little things so that I could then sprinkle the candy and the eggs around. Now I'll get some eggs over here. I um, made these eggs yesterday um, when I was making this Easter basket. And um, so I'll just put a few of the Easter eggs around here. Um, like I did yesterday in the basket. And she was thrilled to death when she saw this. Uh, she thought that was the most beautiful thing she'd ever seen. And um, she could always depend on Mama to uh, have her something out of the ordinary. I always do go for the out of the ordinary things and things that I can think up. And uh, now some of these little eggs I didn't get um, at Party City. I got those at, uh, I think it was a Michael's, and, um, but they are just as cute as can be, too. 
But I really like the big ones because they give you a lot of oomph for your money. I think that might be enough. Oh, I might put a little purple one over here. But I really liked, uh, now this is the basket I was telling you about, I did yesterday, if you didn't um, get a chance to see it. And that um, is the little carrots I put there, and then I put the little roses here and here. And this ribbon, it's gorgeous, but it's really stiff. So it's just a little bit hard to work with, but I had a thing I can show you here. Um, I had one of these Teflon spoon things that I got it at, Wal at Walmart. I was, buy I was buying my groceries, and I saw those sitting over there, and I thought, good grief, that would be good to hold that um, whatever you're working with uh, when you're uh, making your tutorials for the hot glue. So I, I, it came in quite handy yesterday because I was about to burn my fingers off. And um, I used it, and it took it all away. Okay, now I'll show you. If I can get this to stand up, all right, there you go. Now, what you do next is, now, I only bought one sheet of this paper. And as you can see, it's quite long. But um, I didn't want to buy two because I knew that I really wasn't going to use the Easter basket for um, soaping. So, um, I just used enough so that I could show you what to do and um, give you the general idea. Because it really, I had two the other time when I fixed it for her. And um, what you do is you just bring it up here and gather it all around and come down right to the top of the chair. And you bring this up. And uh, then, of course, your other. If you wouldn't want to buy two, I guess you could. Just take some uh, clear tape and glue this together right here. And you probably would never be able to see it if you fixed it correctly. Uh, but um, if, you don't, if you want to do the other, you can just um, get a piece. And instead of laying it from that side to this side, just lay it from the front to the back. And it will be just great. And uh, what I do, I have to hold my thing in place until I can get my ribbon. I just get a pipe cleaner. And I tie that really tight. And then that holds that long enough for me to get my bow and whatever else fix that I want to fix. And um, you might imagine one of your little ones coming through the door and seeing one of these sitting, waiting for them. And um, I can only imagine the um, noise that there would be coming from that. And I'm wondering if I have a piece of tape in here. I should, but should and have is always different. I have some... Um, little uh, uh, things here I can put on. These little clips will get it okay for right now, but I would fix it differently. But um, now that is, it's simple, it's quick, it doesn't cost a ton of money, and um, when you get ready to uh, make your ribbon, I always use a lot of this, uh, depending on what I'm working on. And um, I just start making a big lot of uh, strings. Now, where are my scissors? Okay, now I am um, making the ribbon. As you can see, it's just simply taking it between my fingers back and forth. There's nothing magical about it or uh, anything hard about it. Just taking it back and forth uh, between my fingers and trying to keep uh, the loops uh, about as big as um, possible. You know, keep them even. You want some of them a little longer, of course, but um, for the big part, they'll be just about the same. 
uh, I do know I need something to put that in, and I know what I should do, so I'll tell you. Get you a um, some kind of a bowl, a large bowl, and just set that in a bowl, and you will not have to be um, running after it all the time and having it hit the floor or whatever, because I learned that a long time ago. If you let it come off in a, a roll, it helps a lot in a bowl because um, I crochet and do afghans and things like that and I'm forever trying to keep up with my yarn and I learned if I just put it in to something that it could roll then it would be fine and I didn't have to worry about it leaving all the time. I think that's enough for right now and I leave long tendrils hanging down anyway so I can curl them and I've got this one right here that I'll tie around this and you'll notice that the pipe cleaner is keeping that um, just quite well it's it's as tight as it was when I was holding it and um, it uh, really takes care of it yesterday when I was burning my hands with that tape I just took that um, pipe cleaner and stuck it on it tied it to the top of the basket the handle and um, it kept it there just as pretty as could be until I was ready to uh, do the other. Okay, now I'll take this and um, tie it around here and leave enough of it coming down so I can curl it up some. And then I'll curl it additional amounts too. And I love these little curls that you can get in this tape. Um, that's one of the things I miss with our real beautiful tapes that we have now, being able to curl them. Heaven. And, uh, um, I think that, um, you will enjoy making this, and I think that you will enjoy watching your little one, uh, open it up, or run into the room and get hold of it. Um, now I'll tie this up here to it. I can find my ribbon. Here it is. Well, I don't think it is. Here we go. I have to keep it in one of my fingers. The other one. Because it's hard to know which one is which one you're tying it. Well, oh, let's see here. Okay, we've got the bow tied. And now um, I'll just take some of these little tendrils that's hanging down and um, curl them. And as you can see, if you're new to this, uh, they make really pretty curls and you can curl as many as you want to and even you can take some of these that you've already uh, put up there and curl those and some of them you can even cut and uh, it will make a still even pretty um, little curls the ones that are part of your bow but they look really cute and I think that um, you will really like that. I hope you will. And if you do, you can see it didn't take me any time at all to make that. And um, she has a little chair, or he has a chair, that um, they could keep for um, until they get old enough and make their little kids an uh, Easter basket with it because she loves it as much as she did the day that I fixed it for. So um, this is Joni, um, uh, designs by Joni, and uh, come back again and we'll craft some more.